Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, we would like to remind you that the use of a recording device is strictly prohibited during the show. Now it's time to meet the Skyline Gang in Lost in Space. <laughs> saying today we're going to oh, uh, but not another trip to the shops or to the park to the vet to the dentist uh, none of those actually today we're going somewhere really exciting well, where somewhere out of this world well i'm not going well you don't even know where it is yet i don't care i don't want to go are you sure you might regret that decision no i won't i don't care where you lot go i want to stay right here at butland where are we going then, bud? We're going to Mars! Mars, yeah, right. No, no, seriously, Misty, we're going into space, through the atmosphere, to Mars. That's so cool, bud, but how are we going to get there? In my magnificent rocket. Look! I didn't know you had a rocket, bud. Turn around, Pip, and feast your eyes on the beauty that is. Wow, my rocket. No, no rocket is Mars, anyway. Um, so first, what do all of these buttons 
Congratulations, dear. Ah, that's the sat -nav. This is so cool. Uh, don't touch it. Oh, go on, there's loads of colourful buttons. Oh, is there a Don't touch it! <laughs> Never touch the buttons, any of you. OK, but there's no need to shout. It's just that the sat -nav has been programmed to take us to Mars and back home again. Oh. If we touch these buttons, we might not make it back home. That's right, Pip. Mm, interesting. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness. Don't worry, Candy. Of course we're going to make it back to the skyline and Butlins. Yeah, as long as no one touches these buttons. Well, no one would be that silly or that naughty. Better get my luggage. Rainbow, go get Troop Boy. Yeah, bye Rainbow. So, the gang to Mars on a rocket. If they don't come back, then Berlin's will be all mine forever. And I can be as naughty as I like. Yeah. 
Gyroscopes in motion. And check. Oh, this is far out. 
Sprout? That's because we are far out sprouting. We're far out in space. Oh, yeah. Hey, Dan, why don't you see how Misty's getting on back at the skyline? <laughs> calling Misty, calling Misty. Do you read me? Over. Read you? I didn't know you had written a book. No, that's what astronauts say. Do it means, can that. you hear me? Why didn't you say that in the first place? Yes, I can hear you loud and clear, Captain Bud. What's the weather like at base skyline, Misty? It's not Misty. It's quite sunny, actually. How are you? Hope you're not lost. <laughs> oh, of course not. We've got a reliable sat nav, so nothing to worry about this end. That's what you know. Say that again, Misty. I didn't quite hear you. I said, uh, mind how you go. Will do. Over and out. The skyline will soon be mine. <laughs> is so small and she's had to go back to her mother for a few days. when they used to beam television shows out into space. Right, but how does that help us? Where are we exactly? Not too sure, but according to the instruments... Oh, gang, according to the instruments, it looks like we're lost! Computer to Skyline Rocket. Computer to Skyline Rocket. You are completely and utterly lost. I repeat, you are completely and utterly lost. Refer to Satnav. Refer to Satnav. Guys, what are we going to do? Thank you. 
Okay then gang, brace yourselves. We're going down. <laughs> If it wasn't for Bud, we wouldn't be lost in the first place. Well, it must have been that sat-nav that went wrong then. Oh, impossible, Pip. I programmed it myself and nobody else touched it. Well, where are we anyway? I'm not sure. Planet Rock. Eh? We're on Planet Rock. Wow, how do you know that, Candy? Well, it says so on the big sign back there. Oh, yeah. oh, oh name. Okay then, gang, let's go and explore. Yeah!
Very old and outdated, I'm afraid. <laughs> Just like your TV programmes. It's not old. It's top of the range, cutting edge. You know, high-tech, high-spec technology, actually. Oh, so this alien chap at the Steve Ancient. He must have such advanced alien technology. Well, if he had such advanced alien technology, maybe he could mend the sat now and take us home. Can you help us? Yes, of course I can try. Um, excuse me, Mr. Alien, sir. Can you explain why our sat-nav went wrong in the first place? Well, that's easy, my friend. It was tampered with before you took off. Your journey was doomed from the start. But who would do such a thing? Misty! Misty! Of course. No wonder she didn't want to come with us. At least we know what went wrong. Well, can you fix it, Mr. Alien? No, I don't think so. Oh, gang, of course he can't fix it. Oh, it's so old and he hasn't even got the parts. Oh, I'm no. so sorry. Oh, my goodness. What are we going to do? If oh, only you had some dental floss, hair straighteners, a Bluetooth device, a moped, hair bubbles, shower cap, and some nail varnish, then I'd probably be able to fix it. Um, well, I can tell you, if Mr. Alien can't fix it, then I sure can't. Mimi, bags! Mimi, your bags! You brought loads of stuff with you! Well, of course I did! You never know what you're going to need and when! Oh, well done, Mimi! You saved the day! Yeah. Well, I hate to say that I'm fabulous, but aren't I fabulous? Yep. Oh, don't worry, Mr. Alien. I'm sure I've got all the parts that you need! Yeah! yeah.
don't know what you mean. Well, you tampered with the sat nav. No, I didn't. Uh, oh, yes, you did. Oh, no, I didn't. Oh, yes, you did. Oh, no, I didn't. Oh, no, you did. Oh, yes, I did. <laughs> oh, man. Well, how did you find out anyway? Well, it wasn't rocket science. An alien told us. An alien? Yeah, right. And we didn't even land on Mars. We landed on planet Rock. Which did, by the way, rock that is. Yeah, and this little alien, he helped us fix the sat nav. And he told us that you had messed with it. Oh. So, what do you have to say for yourself? <sighs> I'm sorry. What was that? <laughs> we can't hear you. I said... I'm sorry. Pardon? I said I'm sorry, all right. Oh. Oh. And besides, I would have really missed you if you hadn't have come back. Oh, so, that's nice. Only okay. because then I'd have no one to play tricks on! <laughs> well, did you guys have a great adventure? Oh, we sure did do. But I'm so happy we're home. I'm so happy I could dance. Yay! Yay!